In our next example, as you can see, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to revisit the formula for compound interest. So the formula right there is A equals P uh, plus 1, or times 1, plus R divided by N to the NT power. Describes the accumulated value A of the sum of money, uh, P the principal, after T years, uh, all that stuff. So how long will it take for $25,000 to grow to $500,000 at 9% uh, annual interest compounded monthly? So again, we're just going to plug in. Now before, all we were doing is plug it in for P, R, N, and T, and then figure out what A is. Well, this time we actually know what A is. So we'll say $500,000 is what we're trying to get. And we are going to invest $25,000. And 1 plus, we know our interest rate, but of course, just like before, it has to be written as a decimal. Since it's compounded monthly, we're going to use 12 for n. So the only variable we don't know in this problem is going to be t. So we need to go ahead and solve for t. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide both sides by 25,000. Even though uh, I can probably do that in my head, it's early. So I get 20. Fantastic. So I'll say 20 is equal to 1 decimal 0 by 12. I'm actually going to figure out what that is. So I'll say. Decimal 0, 9 divided by 12 plus 1. So 1 decimal 0, 0, 0075. I'm just going to write that in there since I'm running out of room. 1 decimal 0, 0, 0075. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we need to get rid of this base. So we're going to take the log of that same base of both sides. So I'll take the log, 1 decimal 0, 0, 0075. Here I'll do the same thing. Run out of room, but log decimal 1 decimal 0, 0, 0075. Just to cancel, leave me 12t. Over here, we're going to have a log 1 decimal 0, 0, 0075 of 20. Then my last step in solving this is to divide both sides by 12. Alright, so now this is going to become a calculator problem for us. And we're going to try to see if we can't figure out how many years we're going to invest our money so that we will be able to get that. Sorry, you guys are going to hate me for making those little things. One of my classes wore me out the other day. Alright, so uh, we can just use a calculator. We could use the change of base formula or we can use this right here. So my base is going to be decimal 0, 0, 0075 and I'm taking the log of 20 and then I'm going to divide that answer by 12. So apparently it looks like it's going to take 30, 30.4 years. Not too bad. I'd take that investment, $25,000. Uh, basically, it's going to multiply by 20 times to get 500000 so 30, 30.4 years. Not too bad.